Good morning, Earl's fam. You guys, I'm on my way to go pick up my honey right now. I'm so excited. I'm not exactly sure when he's supposed to be released, but hopefully it's not too long of a wait. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Just us, get to hang out all day today. It's gonna be a great day. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from sh I see him guys, he's right there. Right. <laughs> Yeah, honey. Love you. Hey, I love you. Uh, Let's go to Chick-fil-A. Let's go. <laughs> uh, at like 12. 12 okay. Yeah. Hey, I love you so much. Hey there, Ranger. <laughs> I love you. You ready to go to Chick-fil-A? Yeah. I love you too, honey. Whew. Let's do it. Yes, me. Which one is mine and which one is Rachel's? All right, Earl's family, I was just talking with Rachel and a couple things. One, I decided that I'm gonna start calling her Rach now because I like that. So I need like a good nickname, like a best friend nickname. So I'm gonna call her Rachel a lot. And then also, this is really interesting. I was reading a book. It was by the guys by Freakonomics. And I wonder why we don't tip stewardess on airplanes. Like they do so much work and they work so hard, but we never tip them. It was really interesting because it's such a service-based thing, but. I thought that was curious, so maybe next time I fly, I'll try to tip one and see what happens. Honey, I have to tell you something. I was, I was thinking, I was just vlogging, and I think there's like a bunch of old people next to me, and they're you know, like looking over, and I, I can just imagine they're just like, millennials, like just, just talking to a camera. <laughs> I have to tell you something. You pregnant? No. Uh, Happy four years of dating. Uh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I look, well, it was nice, I remember my ranger school graduation date. Yeah. You know, it was 21st. Yeah, that's true, day after. <laughs> Turns out Chick-fil-A has a new sauce and it's like sweet and spicy sriracha. So I asked Harold, what does sriracha actually mean? And he said. In Tibetan it means mystic sea breeze. <laughs> No, you, you said or something. Like Japanese a, warrior. Yeah, <laughs> Japanese warrior. Sriracha, Japanese warrior. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, comment if you know what it actually means, because I don't know what sriracha means. Okay. I'm like, Spicy. <laughs> I haven't drank anything in so long. <laughs> Behind the scenes, you guys. <laughs> Dear God, we love you so much, guys. We just thank you for being together, guys. We thank you for your love, and we just thank you for your blessing in your name. Chick-fil-A, hands down. I think I miss that more than anything. Like, food-wise, food-wise, food-wise. Food <laughs> I meant food-wise, guys. Uh -huh. Obviously, I meant miss my wife. Then, secondly, obviously, I miss her old man. But third of that, definitely miss Chick-fil-A. Amazing. Shocker, where are you? I don't see you. She's not here. She's always there. I got it. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey. Hey. Look at what dad brought home. Cool dad. You guys get to have lunch now. Yeah, cool dad. Look at dad. He brought a bunch of food. <laughs> I'm your mom. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm still your mom. Back home and eating the rest of the brownies, you guys. <laughs> yep. Killing it. Okay, you guys, I got something special in the mail. I ordered some buttons um, for me, Harold's parents, my parents, and his sister and grandparents for tomorrow. And I was really nervous they weren't gonna get here. I checked the mail last night and I still didn't get it. So I'm so glad they made it here in time. But they're a little um, proud ranger, like grandparent or wife or sister button. So, Super excited to give these to everyone tomorrow. Also, we got a package from Morgan that um, Harold decided to open without me. <laughs> so sweet, oh my gosh, <gasps> yes! I haven't had these in a while, and Harold's favorite. Literally, I thought I bought these for him, and then I completely forgot, so you're a better friend than I am a wife. Oh, what does it say? Rachel, you killed it being our supportive and selfless wife as Harold went on this journey. Your prayers, encouragement, letters, I, in letters, I know how. Future server, congrats to. 
all the buttons ready for tomorrow. All right, guys, so Harold was on the phone with Sergeant Major um, a while ago, and they were in town, him and his wife, so we decided to meet up uh, with them for dinner. So we went to dinner with them at the Black Cow, and now we're here at Iron Bank having some coffee. Yeah, just drinking a uh, specialty latte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taste it. See if it's I good. Tried it yet. I know, try it. You know what's it. so funny before I try this? I'd like to point out. You're like, very I handsome. Lay that too. But I laid <laughs> in patrol bases in the middle of like swamps and stuff. And I daydreamed about being an Iron Man. Isn't that weird? That is weird. And drinking these because, oh, what it was, we had MREs. I, oh, okay. We had MREs and we had like a mocha cappuccino and you just pour water in this powder and you shake it. And it's like the work, you know, it's like, Ew. Come on, I guess I'm drinking <laughs> for like my coffee. But it made me like dream of having like a real coffee. Yeah, like, a nice it's coffee. Like, so try it now. Is it hot? It's, no, it's a good temperature. It's like, it, <laughs> you like licked it. Mm. It's good, right? Good. It's good. It's like pure bliss. Oh my gosh, it's so silly. <laughs> Two seconds later, Harold spilled his latte on himself and the floor. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, just switching. <laughs> oh my gosh. In case you guys wonder, the reason I spilled it is because Originally, you're like, let's take pictures with our lattes. And so, like, I was gonna like video us being like, <laughs> like doing all the basic pictures, you know, like. No. You know, like. <laughs> I missed the camera. I think is what it is. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> missed, I'm looking at myself up here on the camera. <laughs> all right, you guys. I just got back from dropping Harold off. You guys totally forgot to vlog. Oh, I just got really emotional. It's like, man, all these emotions are just hitting me at like such weird times and I just like can't stop crying. It's like I really, I held it together for so long and I was so strong and now it's like all those things that like I should have felt at certain points <laughs> but like I couldn't feel them because I just had to be strong. I, you know, I couldn't have those like breakdowns all the time although it did happen sometimes like now it's like all of that is just like coming out of me um but whoo yeah this will probably happen for a while <laughs> probably, uh, i imagine like probably two weeks of just like random uh, spurts of crying like yesterday we were just like cuddling together i was just laying on his chest and then i just like couldn't help but cry oh just because it felt so good to be back together you know Oh, like why am I crying? For anybody who is like outside of the military or outside of situations that are kind of like this, it probably seems ridiculous. Like, I would probably think it was ridiculous. But man, if anybody's experienced anything like I have these last like several months, um, there's just a lot of emotions, you know, and I, you know, it's funny because a lot of people sometimes are like, oh, it would be fun to be an army wife and, you know, maybe because they see, like, how much I love my husband and, like, you know, we love our life and it's great and everything, but it's like, man, like, <laughs> you just don't quite get it. Like, it's a hard life. It's a really hard life. Um, and, you know, we make the most of it and, you know, we love the heck out of each other, but there's there's just a lot of hard times um and you gotta be strong so for the most part i've been strong and now it's the breakdown but it's good it just it's good because it means we're gonna be able to be together but y'all i'm so beyond ready for this weekend i'm excited for tomorrow and the graduation like that'll be an exciting day for harold and all his family to see you know what he's been up to and stuff like that but I'm, I'm so ready for just some time together, just some quality time together this weekend. I'm just like getting back into it, you know? Woo. Okay, I gotta stop crying. <laughs> Anyways, sorry if this just seems completely ridiculous. <laughs> it probably does seem ridiculous, but you know what? I've been through a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to take on for your husband to climb Mount Everest, and then like a month later, leave for ranger school and have no communication. Oh, and to know that sometime in the future he's gonna get deployed. It's just, whew, it's a lot. Anyways, I gotta go prep some food now for tomorrow and then I gotta clean the house. So let's go get some stuff done. Okay guys, we are currently planning out how the food is gonna go. Hey, I'm back again. Mom, Aunt Judy, 
and my dad is somewhere, and Boomerang is here. Yes, Boom's here, and the dogs are crazy. Fresh out of the oven, half-baked chocolate chip cookies. All right, guys, well, I just finished cooking some chocolate chip cookies, and it's time to go to bed, do the last-minute stuff this morning, but you guys, my mom and Aunt Judy have been the biggest help, the biggest blessing. I'm so glad that they're here, um, but time to get some shut-eye before a very early morning. Thanks for hanging out today, and tomorrow is Harold's graduation. All right, love you guys, love God, love people, make a difference, be thankful. See you tomorrow, bye. Let's go see Daddy. Let's go see Daddy. Let's go see him. Is that Dad?